हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस टॉपिक इज पीडब्ल्यूएम कंट्रोल मेथड्स इन द अर्लियर सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वोल्टेज कंट्रोल्ड मेथड्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वोल्टेज कंट्रोल मेथड इज पल्स विड्थ मॉड्यूलेशन दैट इज पीडब्ल्यूएम कंट्रोल मेथड फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी मे एक्सपेक्ट द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस व्हाट इज पीडब्ल्यूएम कंट्रोल मेथड व्हाट आर इट्स टाइप्स एक्सप्लेन इट अलोंग विद द सुटेबल वेव फॉर्म्स सो इन दिस मेथड दिस इज बेसिकली जैसे मैंने बताया ये वोल्टेज कंट्रोलिंग मेथड है मतलब इन्वर्टर uh, है अपने पास जिसका इनपुट है डीसी आउटपुट है एसी वी वांट टू कंट्रोल वी वांट टू वेरी द आउटपुट एसी वोल्टेज सो इन दिस केस इन पीडब्ल्यू एम टेक्निक ऑन ऑफ पीरियड्स ऑफ द सेमी कंडक्टर डिवाइसेस व्हिच आर यूज आर चेंज आर वेरी एंड अकॉर्डिंगली द आउटपुट वोल्टेज ऑफ द एसी इन्वर्टर AC output voltage of the inverter is varied. Now, advantages of this method is, in this case, external components are not required. Second advantage is, all the lower order harmonics can be eliminated, or in the worst case, lower order harmonics are minimized, whereas higher order harmonics can be easily filtered out. Now, there are different types of pulse width modulation voltage control. So. first type is single pulse width modulation it is abbreviated as spwm next is multiple pulse width modulation that is mpwm and third is sinusoidal pulse width modulation that is sin pwm now let us discuss each type in detail now the first type of pwm is single pulse width modulation that is spwm as the name indicates a single pulse is used during half time interval ab dekho look at this graph this graph is basically graph of v versus omega t the different intervals are marked as 0 pi then 2 pi this value is pi this value i am talking about so between 0 to pi one pulse is generated so it is single pulse width modulation and width of this pulse can be varied can be changed now how to do it this black ink diagram this graph is used as a reference graph so this is the reference signal or oh sorry this is the carrier signal so this black colored graph is representing the carrier voltage whereas this red colored graph this is the reference signal now this reference signal is squarer in nature whereas this carrier signal is triangular in nature every time the comparison of this carrier with the reference is done and accordingly at the output the pulse is generated width of this pulse can be varied and this width or variation in the width of this pulse is used to control the output voltage of the inverter now observe this diagram this pulse at the output is generated whenever the crossing of vc vc is the maximum carrier voltage vr is the reference voltage whenever the crossing of vc and vr takes place look at this point now at this point a gate pulse is generated so this pulse is generated around the value pi by 2 this value is pi by 2 width of this pulse is 2d observe this diagram is portion mein i mean if i am talking about this part in this case the value of vc is less than vr vr is the uh, reference value so whenever reference value is higher than vc than the carrier value a pulse is triggered pulse is generated like this so pulse started like this whenever this value reference value becomes less than the carrier value dekho iske aage carrier ka value zyada hai so during this time period i mean at this point the pulse ends so this is the pulse that you are getting at the output this is the gate pulse which will be using uh, for controlling the semiconductor devices width of this pulse is denoted by 2d we can well observe that this pulse is centered at value pi by 2 this width can be varied if we vary the reference level means if you go on increasing the reference level if you shift this diagram in upward direction so as you move from 0 to 180 degree so what i have written width can be varies from 0 to 180 degree by varying vr from 0 to vc but the vr can be minimized by uh, shifting this line up to zero level and maximize 
by shifting this red colored line up to VC. So if you vary the VR reference voltage from 0 to VC, then the width can be varied from 0 to 180 degree. In this case, the width is centered around pi by 2 and as shown in this diagram, this width is denoted by 2D. Just say, we will change reference, change karenge, basi, iska width vary ho and accordingly, the uh, voltage output value of the inverter can be varied. Same thing happens during the next half cycle, that is, you are getting inverted uh, pulse around which is centered at 3 pi by 2 again the same principle is used at this point the crossing of vr and vc takes place so between these two points you are getting a gate pulse and its width is also 2d so you are getting the symmetrical pulses on both sides <coughs> so this is the single pulse width modulation abbreviated as spwm the second type is multiple pulse width modulation that is MPWM. As the name indicates, we are using multiple pulses. This is the cake type mein, uh, single pulse width uh, modulation. In that case, what we discussed during each half interval, we were using only one pulse. In this case, multiple pulses are used. In the earlier method, that is SPWM, this was the equation of modulation index. So M is given by in earlier method. It was given by VR upon VC where VC is the carrier voltage and VR is the reference voltage. Same principle we are using. This black ink form represents the carrier voltage. So this is the carrier signal whose voltage is VC. I am talking about this black ink form. VR is the reference signal reference voltage. <coughs> Here multiple pulses are shown, I mean multiple times the comparison between carrier and reference waveform takes place and the gating pulses are generated. Both simple, this is the last case, one pulse generated, now look at this point, where there is a crossing, here a gate pulse generated like this, because it, at this point, the reference voltage is higher than the carrier voltage, so gate signal is generated. Likewise, you are getting different pulses. Similarly, you will be getting multiple pulses in the other part, in the other waveform, uh, in the other half cycle also. That means from uh, pi to 2 pi. So these pulses are obtained or centered around pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. Now, the major part in this case is the modulation index is given by Fc upon F0 where Fc is the frequency of carrier signal uh, and F0 is the reference frequency. This Fc that is the frequency of carrier signal decides the number of pulses per half cycle because as you go on changing these triangular pulses that means the frequency of carrier signal the number of gate pulses will change because every time it will be uh, compared with the uh, reference uh, signal. Then FR or F0, it is used to set the frequency of output voltage. So depending on the requirement, we can vary the carrier frequency and accordingly, we can generate the number of pulses at the output. Here, compared to the earlier method, the harmonics are greatly reduced. So this is about multiple pulse width modulation. Now the third method is sinusoidal pulse width modulation, that is sin PWM. In earlier method, that is multiple uh, pulse width modulation. We discussed that multiple pulses are generated during each uh, half uh, period. But the width of each pulse, there were multiple pulses, but the width of each pulse was equal. In this case, the width is not equal because we are using a sinusoidal pulse for the reference purpose. This diagram, red color diagram, this is the sinusoidal pulse. Whereas this triangular pulse as usual indicates the carrier signal. So, this red color pulse is the reference which is sinusoidal waveform. Now, like the earlier cases, every time the comparison between these two is done. For example, in this portion, this part, carrier signal is less than the reference part. So, one gate pulse is generated up to the up to next point, that is up to this point. So, between these two points, one gate pulse is generated. Similarly, the next pulses are generated. So multiple pulses are generated, but the width can be varied depending on the position of sine wave. Like the earlier method, we can well change the levels of sine wave and accordingly, the number of pulses which are generated at the output can be varied. Same thing happens during the next half cycle. That is, that means from pi to 2 pi, here we are getting negative gate pulses. In this case, the reference frequency FR 
decides the frequency of inverter output whereas the carrier frequency decides the number of pulses per half cycle as you go on increasing the number of pulses then uh, the harmonics are raised and it can be easily filtered out by using a suitable filter so these are the different pulse width that is pwm pulse width modulation techniques used for controlling the output voltage of an inverter so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video